Let's review how you would sync the audio and the video. Hopefully you were able to do it yourself. I'll show you the easy way. We could just select both, right click, and then say synchronize. Make sure we're on audio and then click OK. Yeah, that does a pretty good job at syncing the audio and the video. I'm going to show you why I clapped right there. Sounds pretty good if we mute the video audio track for track one. There in the follow-up less. Just to get the Rode NTG3 audio. Sounds really good, but it's not perfect. We have to go in and fine tune this. If we go in and zoom in as much as possible, I'm just pressing the plus button next to my delete key on my Mac keyboard. We can see from this clap that these aren't perfectly synced. It's off by half a frame or less than half a frame. But if we select the video or the audio and we try to nudge it forward or backwards, and I'm nudging it by pressing command right arrow or left arrow, control if you're on a PC, it never lines up perfectly. The way we fine tune audio is by going here on our timeline, saying show audio time units, which changes our clock up here and allows us to dive in even deeper. We can zoom in more now. You can see as I zoom in more, and we can then go and sync this footage. Notice though that when I try to click the and move the video track to the left or right, it still only allows me to nudge it by one frame. See this plus pop up? And when I drag to the right, it's one, two. Those are frames that I'm moving it by. But if I click the audio, even just the audio from the video or the audio track, now I can move even more precisely. So I can zoom in here even more make sure that this is aligned more properly. Zoom out and that looks pretty good. And now if I play through this, that's a perfect clap. Before it was off just by a little bit. So the next thing I would do, I'm just gonna go back and turn off show audio time units. And then I'm going to disable the video audio. So I'm going to option click this video right here or this audio for the video right click it and uncheck enable. Then I'm going to link up the audio from the NTG3 to the video itself. So I'm going to select all, right click and first say unlink, which unlinks the video from this audio. Then I'm going to select all again, right click and say link. Now if I take my razor blade tool and I wanna make cuts, it happens to both audio tracks and the video, and it's all linked together. That's how I would sync this audio and fine tune it with that trick of showing the audio time units. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in another lesson.